Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trey Gowdy and it's Sunday night in America. I want to congratulate the media. They have managed to do something that seemed impossible. A pandemic couldn't do it. Natural disasters can't do it. War can no longer do it. But the media has done it. In a country rife with division, torn asunder with political fights, the media has brought about a glimmer of unity. The media has united the country in believing that the media is untrustworthy, unfair, and biased. 85% of us, Democrats, Republicans, and independents, do not trust the print and television media. It's not just Republicans, it's literally everyone. 85% of us. The other 15% either work in the media or live under a rock or both. Disdain and distrust for the media crosses geographical and generational and ideological boundaries. In other words, having no confidence in the fairness of the media may be the single most unifying thing we have going for us. And when everyone thinks you're wrong, that should be cause for self-reflection, but not for the media. They don't blame themselves. They blame you and the internet and a lack of diversity, except of course, a lack of political diversity. The questions are twofold. Why have we lost trust in the media and why does it matter? The first question is pretty easy. The public doesn't trust the media, doesn't believe the media is fair because the media is not fair. It's not complicated. The media doesn't speak truth to power. The media tries to influence who's in power. The media isn't a societal referee. It's an active participant in the contest. Our country is split 50-50, but this poll is not 50-50. It is 85 to 15. And that's because whatever differences Americans have among themselves, most still value and recognize fairness. And we know a country and a culture cannot survive without fairness. We need a referee. We need an impartial, neutral, detached judge. And we accept that there will be days we don't like that judge or referee. But there should never be a day we don't respect the judge or referee. Americans know fairness is a virtue, and we salute the humility of those who can call the game without trying to influence the game. And we know the difference between a reporter or television personality we may not like versus one we do not trust or respect. Why does this matter? because unfairness breeds unfairness. It creates a response within us, a recalibration of whether fairness even matters. When the media is always singling your side out for criticism, it makes you take up for your side even when the facts aren't there. Unfairness not only changes how you view the world, it changes how you view yourself. If you've ever been treated unfairly by a boss or a coworker or a friend, you know exactly what this feels like. Being treated disparately changes how you view fairness as a virtue, and that is destructive. America can survive with a media we don't like or agree with. America may not survive with a biased press we do not respect. Right now, the media is neither liked nor respected by an overwhelming majority of Americans, and it's because we do not view them as trustworthy or fair. The group that claims to speak truth to power might want to have a little chat with itself because you've managed to unite a fractured country and not trusting you, and you have no one to blame but yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.